unwritten rules of attending a wedding are pretty easy to achieve. Always RSVP, don't bring extra guests, make sure to be on time, and most important of all, do not upstage the bride. Okay, but what exactly does that mean? What do we need to keep in mind for our wedding guest attire? Thankfully, we're being joined by image consultant and personal branding expert, Sheila Anderson, and she's joining us with some guidance on how to dress appropriately and what you should know for the next time you are a guest at a wedding. Welcome. Happy to be back. Thanks for having me. This is such a fun topic. I know, I love it. And it's perfect timing because I have lots of weddings this summer. That's great. That's... One this weekend even. Oh, good. So when it comes to wedding guest attire, do you think people even think about this or take it very seriously or just throw something on they have in their closet? Well, I kind of feel like the latter. A lot of people don't think about it as, you know, as much as they probably should. And you have to remember, this really is a special occasion. This is a celebration. So it's not something, the attire is not something that you wear every day. It's, you know, again, it's a special occasion. It's that celebration. So take into consideration that it's a time to dress up. It's a time to level up. Now, you don't have to go out and buy something special. Um, you know, we can all shop our closets and be a little bit more mindful of that. But, but dress up. And at the Midwest, we're a little bit more casual, and I understand that. But again, it's a special occasion. So when it comes to that wedding guest attire, what are some rules or some things that we should always keep in mind no matter what type of wedding we're going to? So number one is respect the dress code. Know what the dress code is. Typically, they'll have that listed in the wedding invitation. You can use the venue as a guide if it's a barn or if it's um, you know, a country club, whatever that is, that will help you know the formality of the event. Avoid wearing white, that should go without saying. What about because cream? You can wear cream. Okay. Um, we'll talk about that white in a little bit, but dress appropriately and modestly. This is not the time to be super flashy or um, over the top uh, uh, sexy. We'll just right. say it that way. <laughs> no, that definitely makes yes. sense. Yeah. So then when it comes to that dress code, knowing it, sometimes on the invitation, they will have a dress code mm -hmm. written down. Or like you said, you can check the venue. But let's sure. just talk about what types of different dress codes they are and then how we can navigate our way through it. So these first three up on the screen right now. Yeah, so the uh, there is a one a little bit higher than the black tie, and that's a white tie, but you don't see that very often. But black tie is the most formal. So that is always darker colors. The fabric is stiffer. Um, you don't see that very often. Formal is one that you see quite a bit. Formal is a little bit, it's still really put together and dressed up. Um, and cocktail is the one that we see most often. And so we'll talk about that one a little bit more. But, um, and then we kind of have a dressy casual. Um, it goes down a little bit more so you can bring in um, just a nice pantsuit, a little bit more color. And then we always have the fun beachy casual ones. Um, which you can do that cream, that linen, that's the billowy fabrics. Um, those are really fun. I like the pantsuit. The that, pantsuit, The different ones yes. that you've had the for pantsuit, examples yeah. for those. And pantsuits and jumpsuits, I think um, oftentimes women forget about that. They think it has to be a dress. But if you're more comfortable in a really, really nice pantsuit, and the pantsuit could be, you know, we could have a little more satin to it, a little bit more sheen. So pay attention to the fabrication um, so the more formal, the more, um, you know, the stiffer that fabric should be, um, and the more casual you get, in, it's that um, a little bit more lightweight, a little bit more flowy. You can add more patterns in as the more casual it gets, but the more formal it is, you want to stay away from the patterns. What's really the biggest difference between cocktail and formal? Because I think, maybe this is just me, but I kind of think of them as very similar. They are very similar. Um, Formal is just one step below that black tie. So it's still, you see a lot of times, a longer dress or a full length dress. Cocktail becomes at the knee to like that midi length. So I wore today a cocktail dress to give people an indication of what that looks like. Cocktail is a little bit, it's a little bit more fun. And it's, it was designed, I think in 1948, Christian Dior named it cocktail and came up with that fitted waistline and a little bit more flair to the, to the dress for women. Um, but it's a little bit more, um, you can have more fun with it than formal. Mm -hmm. So, and for men, it can be um, a brocade or some really interesting jacket, um, have a little bit more um, fun with it, but again, it's not, um, 
the knee length, it should be at least knee length. So okay. we don't want to go above the knee a little bit with a cocktail. Okay, that so makes sense. So you want to stay like a knee or, or down to like the midi length. Well, we have some examples yes. to go through and you're going to tell us what you think maybe doesn't work or does work. So this first example is a picture of my friend and I wearing dresses. And is there anything that you would do differently about this one? So this is, gr I loved this photo because what I see here is two different dress codes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I don't know what the venue is. Um, it was the okay. atrium. Okay, the atrium. All right. So the person on the left, that's a little bit more casual. That's a that's a more casual look. It's a more beachy look. Mm -hmm. Your dress, I loved. I love the modesty of the neckline. I loved the lace. What I would change is the shoe that you have on there. Okay. So the shoe felt a little bit more, little leaning towards more casual. Okay. So I would have done more of a strappy shoe or um, just a really nice pump with that. Okay. Okay, now this next example, this was so long ago. Oh. <laughs> but what would you do differently here? Again, I'm seeing two different dress yeah. code styles. <laughs> um, Love it. So the two, right, the two people on the outside are in, in a nice, more of a, um, I would say more cocktail, a little bit more dressed up. Um, and I think you did a great shoe with that lace, so that's what I would have liked to see in the other, okay. in the other dress. Um, but the person in the middle, that dress was a little bit more casual. Right. So I would have changed that dress up, and then she had a, she had a really cute boot. The, the outfit was really cute, but it was more of a, or a casual wedding. Very casual one. And yeah, the color, so again, you guys had Very a darker different. color, and then she had this yeah. lighter, lighter color. Um, and what could she do? She could keep that dress, change out the shoe, maybe add a shawl or something to it just to up-level that, so. That That's, makes sense. It yeah. is funny, though, how people come with different <laughs> dress codes, right? Well, be, and again, that just goes to the point that yeah. how confusing this is. Right. And it's not just weddings. It's it's all the time. Right. Like, well, thank you so codes. much for joining us here today yes. and walking us through this because I think we can all benefit from that information. So thank you so much for joining us You're here today. You're welcome.